Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the glycosaminoglycans and the easiest way to remember the composition of glycosaminoglycans. So let's start. Glycosaminoglycans, previously known as mucopolysaccharides. They are long unbranched heteropolysaccharide chains composed of a repeating disaccharide unit. A repeating disaccharide includes amino sugar and acid sugar amino sugar and acid sugar amino sugar further either it is glucosamine or galactosamine and acid sugar either it is glucuronic acid or iduronic acid glucosamine can be plain glucosamine or it can be n acetyl glucosamine galactosamine is n acetyl galactosamine now glycosaminoglycans are repeating unit of disaccharides amino sugar and acid sugar now there can be various combinations of this amino sugar and acid sugars first we'll see heparin and heparan sulfate heparin and heparan sulfate are made up of glucosamine plus either of this acid sugar glucosamine plus any acid sugar glucuronic acid or iduronic acid both are having sulfate now come to n acetyl galactosamine for galactosamine remember c and d cd galactosamine cd chondroitin sulfate and dermatan sulfate Amino sugar is N acetyl galactosamine and glucuronic acid chondroitin sulfate. Now, how you write glucuronic acid? This C. So, chondroitin sulfate and N acetyl galactosamine with iduronic acid is dermatan sulfate. How you write dermatan sulfate? That is D. So, iduronic acid. This is iduronic acid. And of course, both are having sulfate now n acetyl glucosamine and glucuronic acid makes hyaluronic acid and n acetyl glucosamine without any acid sugar makes keratin sulfate n acetyl glucosamine with glucuronic acid is hyaluronic acid now mind well Hyaluronic acid does not contain sulfate and keratin sulfate does not contain uronic acid. Instead, it is having galactose. So, quick revision repeating disaccharides amino sugar and acid sugar. Amino sugar, glucosamine, plain glucosamine, and N acetyl glucosamine. N acetyl galactosamine, this three amino sugar and acid sugar, glucuronic acid and iduronic acid. Now, first, a glucosamine, heparin and heparan sulfate are made up of glucosamine and any of the sugar, acid sugar. N acetyl galactosamine with glucuronic acid, this C type glucuronic acid, chondroitin sulfate, and N acetyl galactosamine is iduronic acid, dermatan sulfate. Remember CD with N acetyl galactosamine. N acetyl glucosamine and glucuronic acid, hyaluronic acid, but it does not contain sulfate. And keratin sulfate is made up of N acetyl glucosamine, but does not contain any uronic acid. Instead, it is having galactose. Now we'll see all the important points of glycosaminoglycans. 
First is heparin. As you know, heparin is an anticoagulant. Heparin sulfate is found in glomerular basement membrane. Remember that chondroitin sulfate is most abundant glycosaminoglycans in the body. It's found in cartilage, tendons, ligaments, and aorta. In cartilage, it binds collagen and holds fibers in a tight, strong network. Dermatin sulfate found in skin, blood vessels, and heart valves. Hyaluronic acid is present in synovial fluid of joints, vitreous humor of the eye, and serves as lubricant and shock absorber. Keratin sulfate is found in cornea and tendons. Defective sulfation of keratin sulfates causes macular corneal dystrophy. So this is all about the quick revision of glycosaminoglycans. Hope you find this informative. If you do, then please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel. Thank you.